Quite my favorite time of year, as anyone might have guessed. Halloween is a harvest festival of another kind. It is nothing less than the harvest of souls. The bonfires, the parties that happened at this time of year was to honor those who died in the previous time period since the last party before the dearly departed joined the ancestors but until then they weren't quite dead you know and they could walk the world as spirits anyone who has looked into any Celtic barrows could tell you quite well that veneration of the ancestors and of the dead and the dearly departed yes quite a significance for ancient peoples and it was usually at this time of year that the work and the privations and trials and tribulations of life would catch up with people so on fires, burning cremation, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Of course, the Christians had to take it over, co-opted as they did so many other things. Hardly anything original in the whole thing. But pagan beliefs go back a long period of time much further than any organized religion. So yes, witches and goblins and ghoulies and spirits that go bump in the night, vampires and werewolves, all had a significance, a symbolism. Everybody knows what an emotional vampire is nowadays. In times of trouble, Grandma might have become meat, as witnessed in the caves of Cheddar. So let us not be squeamish. Pop an animal head upon your own. Wrap yourself in furs and have a jolly time dancing about the campfire. And in the absence of an animal skull, a pumpkin will always do. Please enjoy your evening. And just remember, the great Punisher is always out there to get the truly wicked. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you choose to support these video essays, thank you. The spirits will bless you. Thank you for watching and please come again.